Terry. Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to meet some people I haven't met before, and the guests. Uh, thanks for putting this on. Got a call from David about this, and I appreciate that. My my um my interest is uh, maybe I can sum up a little bit. The issues are are, are pretty dramatic, and uh, those who are aware of them are in a lot of pain. Um, the only way to get out of the pain is to do something, because uh, you know if you take action. You don't feel so bad, at least you're doing something. You don't feel helpless. So, they, um, uh, a long time ago, 1983, I started a company, my company, Environmental Architect. Um, it, I wasn't aware of the energy issue that we have today. I wasn't on Hubble's curve. Uh, uh, but uh, Hubble's, the issue at the time was for me was indoor air quality. Um, <laughs> a lot of people were sealing up buildings in the early 80s and uh, getting sick. So, I was figuring out ways to make buildings healthy, and uh, air filtration, and, uh, and the fresh air, and all that stuff. That was my thing. And then, um, uh, about 10 years ago, I got very interested in geothermal. Um, and as an architect, I saw it as a way of getting off the oil. I couldn't stand the idea of, of burning oil and the pollution. As I grew up in Manhattan, and there was soot on the windowsills as a kid that came from the coal-fired flower plants that Count Edison used. And if we had there would be soot and everything if you open up a window. We'd have filters on the windows. And uh, it dates me, of course. The point I'm trying to say is this this is a problem. Um, because t now now we have China trying to keep up, and, and, and they're in a, in a big binge now to develop their country. <laughs> so um, my, my concern is uh, it was energy independence. So I started a company with the name Energy Independence now a few years ago to address the problem that I saw as an architect, that there were contractors and, and people out there who could handle individual aspects of the energy issue, geothermal. But what about the insulation? There would be people that, I had clients putting in, uh, meeting people who were putting in geothermal, where their buildings are totally leaky, uh, and there was no insulation at all. So they were basically sizing the units the same as the oil burner that was in the basement for the past 50 years, because there was no insulation in the walls. Now, the technology, I just want to make one point to the guests, the technology today on insulation is so extraordinary that now there is actually non-expanded foam that you can put inside a wall that only has R11 fiberglass 3 inch back, and it displaces it without blowing the sheetrock out. There's what are called poor foam. They're um, experimenting and inventing something where you spray.